The third round of the 2019 UIM F1H2O World Championship season was held in Evian for a fifth consecutive year as the 23rd Grand Prix of France was raced on the waters of Lac Le Mans. The world-famous spa and holiday destination Evian Le Bain attracts visitors from all over the world, having become a renowned hotspot for jet-set socialites and royalty through the centuries. Evian was one of the world's premier destinations during the Belle Epoque and the Roaring Twenties, and it continues to be a major attraction with its incredible architecture, the wooden La Grande Jola concert hall, the clock tower, and some of the finest restaurants and cuisine at the foot of the Alps. Evian is an excellent outdoor sports destination for all seasons, the ski slopes of winter transforming into bike trails in the summer, making this a prime mountain biking destination. Evian's most famous asset is water. Located at the foothills of the Alps, Evian and its environs receives a year-round cascade of pristine, crystal-clear waters from the surrounding mountains, creating Europe's largest alpine lake, Lac Leman, aka Lake Geneva. Once again, Evian provided the ideal venue for the world's premier marine motorsport racing series as crowds gathered on the shores of Lac Leman in their thousands to enjoy the Grand Prix of France. Those who were brave enough went for a ride on the F1 H2O two-seater for a first-hand experience of the thrill of going full tilt in an F1 H2O boat. Here's what happened in the last round in Portimao, Portugal. Round two saw the first race of 2019 after the first round in Saudi Arabia was canceled due to bad weather. Defending world champion Sean Torrente of Team Abu Dhabi took pole position in the Rebellion official qualifying and led from the start, chased by his teammate Tani Al Kamzi and then Team Amaravati's Jonas Anderson in third. CTI CF1 Shenzhen China driver Philip Xia overhauled Emirates Racing's Merit Stromoy to move up into fourth position in the second lap and gave chase to Jonas Anderson, but the Swedish ace held off the Frenchman, who retired halfway through the race. With 10 laps left in the race, Daniel Kamzi increased the pressure on Sean Torrente, trying to find a way around his teammate, cutting the gap between them down to a boat's length, but Torrente held on to the lead. Torrente hung on to defend his Grand Prix title in Portimao. Sean Torrente was a 2019 Grand Prix of Portugal champion. Daniel Kamzi once again runner-up. Anderson ended the fantastic race in third. Sean Torrente kicked the new season off in style, earning 20 points. His teammate Al Kamzi ensuring that defending world team champions Team Abu Dhabi continued where they left off atop the world team standings. There were nine teams and 19 drivers competing in the Grand Prix of France in Evian. The team that is desperate to use its home crowd advantage is the French-dominated CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team. Three-time world champion Philip Schiap wants to break his string of bad luck on Lac Le Mans, having been unable to finish a single race in Evian in the last four years. Special race for me, for sure. Four times uh, without result, and uh, I don't know what you expect. Uh, difficult to think uh, at the podium. No, we are ready for sure. We work uh, a lot, uh, not especially for this race, but for this season. I think it's enough for time, and uh, this year is my year. His teammate Peter Marin is a rising star in F1 H2O racing, and he's keen to continue his consistent top five form in home waters. Another French outfit that is looking to win big points in Evian is Maverick F1 team, with French driver and team manager Cédric Deguin leading the charge in Evian. For sure, racing in France is, is, the, is very uh, a special moment for me, for all the other French people. And uh, we have all our sponsors which are here, we have our family which are here, and there is a lot of people, who, I don't know them, but they come to say, oh, okay, Cédric, uh, we see. Oh. We 
show you a lot of time here on this lake. It's a, it's a very, I'm very happy to hear that. He races alongside the promising newcomer Beranger Robert. But they have a third driver this year, the defending Grand Prix of France champion who took the checkered flag on Lac Le Mans in 2018, Eric Stark of Sweden. He won the Grand Prix of London for Maverick F1 last year, earning the only Grand Prix win for the team on the F1 H2O Tour. But the team to beat here is no doubt Team Abu Dhabi. In their number one boat is Sean Torrente, the defending world champion. He had the perfect start to the season with a win in Portimao in round two as he seeks to defend his world title in 2019. Yeah, we're in a good position, um, but you know, we have high goals here. Um, we've had what I would call a pretty historic run over the last year. Um, we pretty much haven't been beaten except for one time. One of us has always been on the top of the podium, and we've pretty much always been on the podium. So our goal is just to continue that, um, keep with the consistency, keep working hard, realize that all these guys are fighting for us, stay humble, and, and try to come out on top again. Perhaps Torrente's biggest rival will be his own teammate, Tiny Al Kamzi. A veteran former world number two in last year's world number three, Al Kamzi had raced an epic campaign against Torrente in Portimao, pushing his teammate all the way. Always a fighter, often a dark horse, is Jonas Andersson of Team Amaravati. The Swedish veteran has won five Grand Prix titles. His third place podium showing in Portimao confirmed he's capable of upsetting everyone's podium plans. Yeah, I feel very, very great. I had a good race in Portugal and uh, now we had the time for once to have all the things home. And uh, I've been testing a lot and uh, changing something in the boat for this race. So I hope it can be good. He races alongside teammate Eric Eden. Victory teams Alex Carella won back-to-back -back titles in Evian in 2016 and 2017, but he's coming off a string of disappointing race exits. Now he's trading his victory boat for his trusty DAC, with which he's won four world titles. Little by little, finding back my, finding back myself. I'm happy, especially in this water that was really bad. Uh, I feel comfortable, so. Uh, I think I can fight it today, hopefully, for, uh, for the top spot. Another accomplished veteran is Marit Stromoy of Emirates Racing Team. The Norwegian ace is part of an elite group of Grand Prix winners on the tour, and she's poised to make a podium grab. The Grand Prix of France circuit on Lac Le Mans is a notoriously difficult course with unpredictable winds and big rollers that appear as if out of nowhere, making it crucial to find the right setup to negotiate shifting conditions, and luck is always a factor. Day two of the Grand Prix of France saw big storms rolling in with strong winds and rough waters. The Rebellion official qualifying would instead be run on the morning of race day. The usual three session format reduced to one 60 minute session where drivers went lap after lap to lay the fastest lap time in a bid for pole position. The single qualifying session format meant that everyone had a shot at a good starting grid position and the field was wide open on the 2.08 kilometer Evian circuit. Two-time winner at Evian, Alex Carella, was out on the water with his new DAC boat, getting 40 laps in, but not quite finding the lap times he needed to be a contender for pole. Carella's teammate, Ahmed al Hamali was having problems. He could only get three laps in before having to retire from qualifying. Home team Maverick F1's defending Grand Prix of France driver, Eric Stark, put in 31 laps, but he was unable to go better than 49.66 seconds. He would start in P10. Beranger Robert put in 17 laps, but he was six seconds off the pace. We are not the setup for we to go to the top 10, so we want to keep the boat safe for the race. Don't take any risk for qualification and, uh, and wait and see what's happened for the race. Cedric de Guin was also off the pace, placing him in P16. Peter Marin of CTIC was quick on the circuit, crowning his 41 laps with a good fastest lap time of 49.17, ending the session in seven. Philip Schiap was laying fast times, hovering just outside the top five throughout the session, but then a broken steering system put the whole session in jeopardy. Schiap's team had to quickly fix the boat and get him back out there, a good start crucial if he was to end his losing streak here. Team Charges' Sammy Celio, a two-time world champion, was also laying good times. Oh. 
challenging Shiap as the Finnish ace broke the 49 second barrier, laying a good time of 48.92 to come in sixth. Blaze performance had a tough outing, Greg Foster only managing 15th position and Francesco Cantando settling for 17th. Emirates Racing's Bartek Marshalek couldn't improve on his 50.33 second lap time, ending in 13th position. Marshalek's teammate Marit Stromoy continued her fine form. She found some clear water to get the acceleration she needed to lay a blistering lap time of 48.25, which gave her the provisional pole position. Italian Alberto Comparato of F1 Atlantic team came in 12th after 36 laps, while his teammate Duarte Benevente of Portugal went one better to claim P11. Jonas Anderson was fast, going all out to chase down Moritz Stromoy's time of 48.25, but the Swede fell just short, 48.34, placing him in second position. Bad luck for Anderson's teammate Eric Eden, he's towed off, but still managed to claim a P9 spot. Daniel Kamzi of Team Abu Dhabi went out with a good time of 48.8, but then he had to retire with steering and engine issues. I don't know, uh, no electric inside my boat, no working, nothing. I think electric go all, the battery. The current world standings leader and defending world champion Sean Torrente went out, but he was unable to beat either Stromoy or Anderson's time. Torrente in third position with 48.62 and just minutes left in the session. Philip Shiap appeared on the pontoon, just minutes to go to make one last effort. Shiap's boat and engine ran to perfection this time. The Frenchman went all out to lay an immaculate time, 48.02. He beats Stromoy and takes pole position in Evian, the first important step in his efforts to break the Evian jinx. I have a good setup at the beginning. I'm very sad when my steering is broken, but I have a lot of motivation at the end, and I'm very happy. It's good for my team because a lot of, a lot of work Nice, nice. Thanks. Shiap has the best seat in the house for the Grand Prix of France. Moritz Stromoy in P2, Anderson in P3, Torrente P4, Alcanzi P5, and Celio P6. Then it's Marin, Corella, Eden, and Stark completing the top 10. Place performance drivers Greg Foster and Francesco Cantado in 15th and 17th, respectively. Philip Roms of Sharjah team 18th. No, actually, I, I have fought it so much, I ran out of fuel in the end. Uh, I had uh, I couldn't start another lap because I didn't have any more fuel. Anyway, I'm uh, happy b b uh, being second. It was hard, uh, and uh, but in the end, we chose the wrong, uh, right propeller and uh, had a good balance down here in the straight, and uh, I'm, I'm happy. Of course, pole is better, but uh, anyway. <laughs> With the cool waters of Lac Le Mans as a backdrop, Evian welcomed drivers, crews and their families for a fifth consecutive year as the UIM F1H20 family let loose to enjoy the local atmosphere. The conditions were good on race day as 18 drivers from nine teams prepared to do battle for the fifth consecutive year on Lac Le Mans. Every driver had something to prove here. Alex Carella had won it twice before, he wanted to do it again. Eric Stark wanted to defend his title. Sean Torrente needed maximum points as he sought to extend his lead atop the world standings. Shiap wanted to break his four-year jinx and Stromoy and Anderson want to go from race spoilers to race winners. The starting lineup for the Grand Prix of France sees Philippe Schiap in pole position, then to his right it's Stromoy in P2, Anderson P3, Torrente and Alcamzi 4 and 5, Celio P6. The winners of the last three races in Evian, Corella and Stark down in 8th and 10th respectively, Marshalek 13th, Foster representing Blaze Performance in 14th, Maverick F1's French drivers De Guin and Robar are 15 and 17 respectively, and Al Hamali and Cantando right at the back. The last few seconds before the race, the air is tense, the silence complete before the 18 boats roar off the starting pontoon. The lights are out, the boats... Oh. 
shots are off. Great start from Schiap, the Frenchman charging ahead, but it's a poor start from Moritz Stromoy as Jonas Anderson nudges ahead of her on the opening drag race to the commitment buoy. Anderson has a phenomenal start, way ahead of Sean Torrente in P4, who's struggling to keep up with the red Amaravati boat. Beranger Robert having trouble on the opening straightaway as Francesco Cantando flies past the Frenchman. Schiap is first to the commitment buoy, behind him Anderson, then Stromoy in third. Corella makes a good start passing Peter Marin on the outside in a bid for sixth. Blaze performance driver Greg Foster also with a good start as the American overhauls Cedric Deguin. Torrente and Alcamzi fighting for fourth, but Torrente has the speed. Torrente zips past Moritz Stromoy, bumping her down a notch, and then on the outside, Alcamzi does the same. The Abu Dhabi drivers in third and fourth, Stromoy down in fifth. Torrente sets his sights on Anderson, charging up on the inside, but the Swede is fast. Anderson's Amaravati teammate, Eric Eden, goes on the attack against Peter Marin. Both are in pursuit of Corella. Heading into the left-hander, Corella goes long and Marin manages to turn in before Corella. Behind them, Eden cuts in and nearly collides with Corella. Corella keeps up the fight around the yellow right-hander, the victory ace on the inside, but Marin holds point in seventh and surges ahead. But this time, Eden has the inside lane for the left-hander. He tries to get past Corella on his starboard, sneaks through, and he does it. Eden bumps Corella down a notch to ninth. 12-time Grand Prix winner Cantando of Play's performance started at the back in 18th, but he's already moved up to 14th as he speeds past Cedric de Guin. Cantando's teammate Foster is also continuing his strong start, smoking Bartek Marshalek to move up another position. No changes in the lead, Schiap, then Anderson, followed by the team Abu Dhabi drivers Torrente in third and Alcamzi fourth, Stromoy in fifth, Sami Celio behind her in sixth, then Peter Marin seventh. Further back, Duarte Benavente of F1 Atlantic in 11th position, holding off Greg Foster's advance, the American in 12th, up from 14th. Into lap five, Cantando's excellent rise up the field from 18th continues as he finds himself challenging Eric Stark for 10th position in the Blaze Performance boat that he himself has designed and built. Benevente finds Marshalek there on the inside, the Polish driver passing Benevente to move up into 12th. The Portuguese veteran now in pursuit of Marshalek to at least get in the top 10 for some points. Meanwhile, Alcamzi in fourth finds Stromoy cutting the gap between them as she herself tries to keep Sami Celio off her tail, the Finnish two-time world champion in sixth. Alberto Comparato was out of the race before the first lap, and now Team Amaravati's Eric Eden is also out of the race. Tough luck for the Swede. Eden's teammate Anderson is going strong in second position, just one spot away from a sixth Grand Prix title, but he has to find a way around Schiap, who has a huge nine-second advantage. Torrente in third, giving chase to Anderson, then Alcamzi fourth, Stromoy fifth, and Celio sixth. Peter Marin in seventh, ahead of Corella eighth, then defending Grand Prix champion Stark, Cantando, Marshalek, and Foster coming up from behind. This is the perfect start for Schiap. Having been unable to get a good result here in four outings, can he break the jinx and finally win one in Evian? The three-time back-to-back world champion needs to hold off some stiff competition behind him and avoid a breakdown. Corella's victory teammate Ahmed Al Hamli retires just nine laps into the 40 lap race. The epic battle between the Abu Dhabi teammates that we saw in Portimao resumes in Evian as Al Kamzi takes on Torrente, putting pressure to try and crack the top three. It promises to be a season long battle between these two as they once again take their gloves off and lay into each other in a fight for third. No disaster for Shiop. Yet another DNF for the Frenchman as the curse of Lac Le Mans continues. Just 14 laps in, and Shiop's bid for a first win in home waters comes to a heartbreaking end. The drama continues as Torrente sees Alcamzi slip through on the inside. Alcamzi finds the speed to get past the American and move into what is now second position behind the new race leader, Jonas Anderson. Torrente in third. But Torrente does not back down, teammate or no teammate, the two lock horns in a gripping duel, ducking and weaving in a fight for second position. Daniel Kamzi is going all out on the choppy waters, trying to keep the pace steady and avoid flipping as he feels the pressure from the defending world champion, Al Kamzi. <laughs>
knocks Torrente back, gets a firm handle on second position now as Torrente chases in third. But just as Alcamzi takes second position, Cedric De Guin in 12th, barrel rolls on the increasingly rough waters. The Maverick F1 driver is unhurt, but that will be a yellow flag as the race is paused and De Guin and his boat taken off the course by the Osprey rescue team. Here it is on the replay. Rollers can sneak up as if out of nowhere on this immense alpine lake and the choppy waters get increasingly difficult to handle as the race progresses. The boats line up for the restart with Jonas Anderson in the lead and the bad news for Thani Alkamzi is that he hasn't completed a full lap in second position which means the restart order reverts to that of the last completed lap. So Torrente is second for the restart and Alkamzi back in third. The green flag is up, the race is back on in lap 18. Jonas Anderson has a good restart, holds the lead, but the battle is back on as Alcamzi tries to take Torrente from the inside. But this time Torrente wins. The American fends off the Emirati to stay in second. Bad luck for Alcamzi. He now has to find another way to pass his teammate yet again. Behind the lead boats, a battle for fourth. Acelio storms up on Stromoy in fourth. And behind Celio is Marin and Corella, all trying to use the restart to gain a position as the race approaches the halfway mark. Further back, Greg Foster finds the speed and clear waters on the outside there to get past Bartek Marshalek of Emirates Racing. Bad luck for Foster's teammate Francesco Cantando, who'd been having a great race to move up from 18th and into the top 10. But Greg Foster goes strong, now chasing Alex Corella, who got bumped down by Eric Stark at the restart. Can Alex Corella hold off Foster? Stromoy in fourth, keeping up the pressure on Thani Alcamzi. Behind her, Celio is pressing in fifth. Stromoy really pushing hard, picking up the pace. Alcamzi goes wide in the choppy waters to avoid a mishap. Stromoy slips in on the inside. She pounces on the Team Abu Dhabi veteran. The two lock horns in a drag race to the next turn, but Alkamzi is picking up his speed. They're neck and neck. Alkamzi just manages to slip past Stromoy, holding point by the skin of his teeth, but Stromoy is breathing down his neck. Yet another boat retires, this time it's Sammy Celio. The Finnish Sharjah team driver was pushing for a podium, but now it's all over. Sharjah team still has a boat in it, though. Young Philip Roms in 11th. The positions remain unchanged with just five laps left in the race, but Jonas Anderson knows he has no cushion to rest on as Torrente maintains his dogged pursuit of the Swede in the Team Amaravati boat with less than two seconds separating them. Oh no, Eric Stark has a problem. He loses control, barely keeps the boat upright, and Alex Corella zips past the Swede into sixth position. Stark tries to make his way back into the circuit, a costly error there. The final lap, Jonas Anderson is in the final stretch, so close to a sixth Grand Prix win. Team Amaravati can taste victory now. The final stretch, Torrente making one last push, but Anderson looks out of reach. There it is, Jonas Anderson follows up his podium finish in Portimao with a win here in Evian. And the Swede declares that he will be a contender for the world title in 2019. Sean Torrente ends a turbulent, nail-biting race as runner-up, but he'll be happy with that result, which keeps him just ahead on top of the world standings after his win in Portimao. Daniel Kamzi in third. Moritz Stromoy finishes in fourth. Morin fifth. Corella finally ends his string of DNFs with a sixth-place result in his DAC boat. What a result for Greg Foster in seventh. Then Marshalek, Benevente, and Stark completing the top ten, followed by Roms and Rabar, just 12 votes completing the race on Lac Le Mans. Team Abu Dhabi maintain their team standings lead with that 2-3 finish, 30 points ahead of Team Amaravati in second place, then Emirates Racing Team in third ahead of CTIC F1 Shenzhen China fourth, then Victory F1 Atlantic followed by Blaze Performance Maverick F1 and Sharjah Team. Team Amaravati celebrate their win, flying the Indian flag high. I started good to start, but uh, after uh, 300 meter, I was crying with the boat because not running too much good. And then we, when you go in the long way, the boat again starting good. I'm uh, very happy to get some points. Man, the race is tough. 
tough. I had a decent start, and I was able to pick off Merritt on the start. And then there in the middle of the race, Jonas was just backing us up and backed me into my teammate. And I made a mistake trying to pass Jonas, which cost me a spot to my teammate just for a half a lap because then uh, someone crashed, I don't know who it was, and put a yellow flag. And then after the yellow, the boat ran great and I could pull on Jonas and I felt like I could pass him, but I didn't want to take the risk because this place, man, the water's so unpredictable. You don't know what's coming. And um, if you take too much risk and then throw it all away, I'd rather be leading the world championship and finish second than to uh, be swimming. Torrente maintains his lead on top of the world standings with 35 points. Anderson is just three points behind him though in second. Then Faniel Kamzi is third on 27 points. Stromoy fourth, Marin fifth, Marshalek sixth. Carilla ends his long dry spell with points in seventh. Then Alhamali, Foster and Comparato in the top 10. Yeah, I mean, I had a perfect start. The setup will try to beat uh, Shap to the first turn. I didn't do it. I took Marit in the start and then uh, Shep was just leaving. He was so fast. When he broke down, I just tried to see the gap to Sean. And I think Sean uh, is uh, more smart this day than before. So he didn't push too much for uh, because here in Evian it's very difficult with all the waves. But it was quite easy race for me. So That brings to a close the 23rd Grand Prix of France as the UIM F1H20 flag passes to China. See you in China for round four of the 2019 UIM F1H2O World Championship. <laughs> <laughs>